What up, Kim Folk? Welcome to Perspective Consciousness, where it's all about your perspective. Today, we're going to learn how to read etymology. In the previous video, I went over words. I went over what etymology is and a few other things. But now I'm going to teach you how to read etymology. This website is called atimonline.com. It's where I go up to research all my words for etymology. Okay, so the word today we're going to go over is corona. You know, we got the coronavirus going around, so we're going to learn about what corona is, okay? So anytime you read etymology, especially on this website, and the bold is the word, okay? And it's going to give you, uh, it's part of speech, corona is a noun. So when you first thought, it'll give you a date. So corona, that word came around in the 1650s, okay? So that word appeared in the English and it was incorporated in the 1650s, okay? Sorry about that. All right? So it means a crown. So the word corona in English, that means a crown, came from Latin word corona. And that means a crown, a garland. All right? In ancient Rome, especially, a crown or garland bestowed or distinguished for military service. Now, that word came from the suffix form of PIE. So, you'll see in a lot of etymology, a lot of acronyms, PIE is Proto Indo European Root Skr. It means to turn or bend. Okay? So, we're pretty much done with uh, the definition of this word. So, with etymology, it kind of works backwards. You know, you're reading definitions backwards. So it gives you the word that we know now and how we use it, corona, from the 1650s. It's a crown. And as you continue to read, it's going to give you uh, how the word come along in each uh, language. So etymology, in a sense, is word history. It's the history of a word, you know. Sorry about that again. So normally they have some extra for you to read. Uh, with etymology, so I'm going to read this because it's always important. With many extended senses in botany and anatomy, etc., a coronavirus by 1969 is so called for the spikes that protrude from its membranes and resemble the teens of a crown or the corona of the sun. The two crown constellations, Corona Borealis, according to the fable, the crown of Ariad. Ariane, I think that's it, and Corona Australis are both Potomac, an astrological sense of luminous circle observed around the sun total eclipses. It's from the 1809. As a brand of Cuban cigar, 1876. The brand of Mexican pale lager beer it dates from 1925. Okay, guys. So that is how you read etymology. That is just a real simple word to go over. Some words are a lot more. Um, I'll say advance because it will it will like come from many 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 different languages, all right. But <clears throat> I want to go over something about Corona that I actually found very interesting while on Instagram. So I'm going to show you these videos and kind of bring an esoteric meaning to Corona and like the virus that I feel as though like really I connected with. So we're going to watch these two videos. exists around each fingertip as it does around different parts of the body. This corona, rather than remaining constant, varies with changes in the subject's state of mind. In one experiment, the subject, calm at the start, is pricked with an unpleasantly sharp object. The corona of her thumb, at first brilliant and wide, becomes increasingly smaller and less distinct under stress, until, with the subject that are most anxious, it almost disappears. In a reverse experiment, a tense subject is invited to have a drink and relax. At the outset, the subject is anxious. His corona is thin. After nine ounces of alcohol, it becomes broader. After 14 ounces, it displays what you might almost call a rosy glow. What happens when two human energy fields come in contact? Tim and Lois are lovers. Photographed alone, his finger's aura is blue and spiky. Hers is white and softer around the edges. When they touch, the coronas mix and mingle. In contrast, observe this curly and photograph of people who are a little angry at each other. And this one, in which the person on the left is extremely hostile. These curly and motion... All right, guys, um, notice in the video and what the scientist was calling the aura around these people thought they was calling it corona. 
he called the aura corona because it had very spiky energy. This is your aura. It's also called the corona, okay? The chromosphere of the sun is made up primarily of hydrogen and lies separate and above the photosphere. Photo meaning the light sphere, the part that you can see. Now the DNA, that is twisted into a double helix and joined together by hydrogen. I said that to say that the so-called chromatosphere or chromosphere of the sun and the chromosomes of the cell are your inner sun. Remember, the cells are your internal little suns. You have whole solar systems that are cells. The chromosome and the chromosphere are together and are synergistically linked through the activity of the DNA. So the sun and you are intermittently connected through the DNA. Your chromosomes and the chromosphere, hydrogen bonds in the, chromo in the chromosomes, hydrogen in as the, as the, the majority, thousands of miles thick around the sun, you are being beamed information through the hydrogen, uh, uh, the chromosphere of the sun is this coronavirus is a flu-like virus and all that stuff it attacks you respiratory system all that stuff when i watch these videos i'm getting a more esoteric understanding of like what's kind of going on i'm not saying this is the truth you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that the coronavirus is not real i'm not saying that it's not a flu-like system i'm just giving you a different perspective how to look at it based off the word and based off the videos i show you you see how our aura is called the corona in the second video, I told you the sun has a corona. Your cells have a corona. Your sun, your cells are many suns because you are the universe. And your suns are many stars. Your cells, excuse me, your, your cells are many stars, your suns, okay? And another form, another way to say the corona around the sun is called it's plasma. You know what I'm saying? It's plasma. Your cells has plasma. You have blood plasma. Okay, now, this coronavirus, I believe in a more esoteric way, attacks your blood plasma, your corona. If your corona is gone, your blood plasma is gone. Blood, plas blood plasma, is, it helps um, your blood flow through your system. It carries antibodies, um, a lot of things in it, salt and all of that. If these things are being... Um, destroyed tampered with you know what i'm saying though then you can't properly uh let me see a word ascend you see how in the video he's saying how you're supposed to throw a third uh strand on your dna but since they blocking out the sun you know with all their technology and corona you can't it's hard for you to ascend because we're in light cold lockdown we can't get those light codes to come to our little suns so we can get those information and knowledge from the sun so I'm saying, so this is a different perspective on how I look at it. So, fam, remember that breath is the spirit, and spirituality is the art of breathing. Mm -hmm.